Hi guys, welcome to our video 2.2, the periodic table. So we're going to look a little more in depth. Well, this whole unit is the periodic table, but here we're going to look a little more in depth in our last video. So the arrangement of the periodic table, we should know by now, is according to atomic number. Atomic number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it goes left to right and then down and then across and back down and across all by atomic number. Each period or row, we have to remember this, a period is a row. It's also referred to as a principal energy level, represents an electron shell being filled. So the first row has electrons only in the first energy shell, or electrons in the first shell. The second row has electrons in the first shell and the second shell. The third row has electrons in the first, second, and third shell, etc., etc. So anything in the same row has the same number of shells. Each group, right, the columns, so the groups are columns, represents having the same number of valence electrons. Right, so if we, and it should be plain to see here, if we look at the electron configurations here, the last number for all of these are four. The last number for all of these are three. Okay, all one, all two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the number of valence electrons is what gives elements their chemical properties. So if they have the same number of valence electrons, they're going to have similar chemical properties. So elements in the same group are going to have similar chemical properties. Very important theme in chemistry. All right, so here's group one. Now, hydrogen isn't touching the rest of these. One, because it's a non-metal, while these are metals. Also, it's a gas, while the rest of these are solids. Also, it's sort of in group one. It doesn't behave quite the same as the rest. That's why there's this space here between hydrogen and lithium. However, it has one valence electron like the rest. That's why it's over here with the group. OK. So, elements in the same group have the same number of valence electrons and similar chemical properties. Now, chemical properties are determined entirely by the number of electrons. So, I'm sorry, chemical properties determined entirely by the number of, I left out here, sorry about that, valence electrons. Okay, so all everything in the group, you can see a little better here than on the previous slide, all of these have one valence electron, which is why they'll behave similarly, not exactly the same, but similarly, chemically. Okay. So, a little bit more about shells. Without electrons being in shells, if the electrons were just kind of floating around and all of them were accessible, we wouldn't have the same type of chemical reactions or reactivity that we have today, or any kind of chemical bonding. So the fact that electrons form shells is the reason for pretty much all of chemistry. All right, question time. Easy from the notes, easy from the notes, easy from the notes. It's about the second or third time doing this. Should be easy from the notes, but you have to be able to explain why. Also easy from the notes. All right, that brings us to the end. I'll see you guys at school.